Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, wherever you are. This is uh, Stephen Moore, and today we're going to train you on how to easily set up uh, appointments or uh, have people add appointments to your calendar. We're going to use a free service called Calendly. You can see you can go to Calendly.com and set up a free account. Um, I already have an account set up, so what I'm going to do here is uh, show you how to uh, set up the different types of uh, settings here. So it allows you to set up different types of meetings, uh, whether it's a phone call, 15-minute meeting, 30-minute meeting. Uh, on the free account, it allows you to only set up one type of meeting type, which is fine because a uh, 30-minute meeting for me is, is plenty. I don't need to have all kinds of variability here and then uh, have the added fee there. So what we're going to do here is uh, you're going to set this up uh, to sync with your Google Calendar. So and then you can... Um, check which Google Calendar it's going to sync with. So you can see here I've got multiple Google Calendars here, but uh, I am only want Calendly to sync with my personal uh, uh, calendar, my recruiting calendar, and then my flight uh, that I have when I set up flights and I fly. So what will happen is Calendly will uh, dynamically uh, allow people to set up meetings but it will avoid creating conflicts with any time slots that are already filled in any one of these three calendars. And so again, just check off which calendars you want to uh, have Calendly look at and it will avoid keeping conflicts. And what will happen then is when people go on to uh, a link that you can provide here, you can see my link is right here, and uh, you can share your link. And what we'll do here is I'll show you what my link looks like. So I can send this to people and uh, those people can see uh, a link here and they can schedule a 30 minute meeting with me and I can even have it linked directly to here if I want by uh, highlighting this and uh, sharing this link and then they'll see my calendar so today Wednesday you'll see that the only time slots I have available are 4 or 4 30 p.m. I've set it where people can't schedule times with me after 5 o'clock uh, through here, but you can set that. Um, you can see here tomorrow, you can see the different time slots where people can select any one of these. So you can see here it's not allowing anyone to set an appointment at 3 o'clock or 3.30 because I'll bet if you go to my calendar here, you will see that tomorrow I already have uh, an appointment at 3 o'clock that's an hour. So if I add any appointments to here, when um, people look at my, my link here, it'll automatically delete these time slots so that, so that it's completely dynamic and makes it easier for people to schedule directly with your calendar. What will happen then is Calendly will send you an email notification when someone selects a time slot and that appointment will automatically show up on your calendar. It's a really great system. It'll even send uh, reminders for people uh, and all that kind of good stuff. One of the things that you will want to do here is if you go into some of the um, calendar connections, up, I'm sorry, not the connections, the account settings, I believe, you can add a picture here for branding. You can put your name. You can create a welcome message that you want. You can also go into uh, event types. And so if we see here, these are different event types. It will Again, it will only allow you to have one um, event type active on the free account. If you want more options, you, there'll, there'll be a fee for that. So we're going to go into the settings here. And you can embed this into a website or whatever you want to do if you want to do some more advanced stuff. But we're going to go to the editing feature. And what event is this? So you can name the event. You can add a color to it if you want and the location to it. And these are different settings. You can see here, when can people book this event with me? So you can say, well, I'm not working Sunday, so Sunday is not an option, but Monday through Saturday, uh, Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, people it will give people options to uh, make appointments with me. Uh, on Saturday, it will give people options from 9 to 3. And... Um, you can also go down to some other settings here that's how far into the future can events be scheduled. So if you leave this indefinitely, that means there people can schedule an appointment in two weeks or a month. And for our business, 
we really want people to schedule appointments in a short amount of time. So um, I originally had it set up where you can only book appointments within three or four days, but I did notice that seven rolling days was actually uh, better. So for me, I have it on seven days, which means it'll only give people options to make an appointment with me for the next seven days. If they want to make an appointment outside of seven days, well, then they'll just call me or send me an email to check my availability. Uh, the next option here, or additional options, you'll see there's a question form. And so it'll autofill their name and email prior to booking. And I added an additional question, which is their phone number. So I want to be able to capture their phone number in case somebody makes an appointment with me and I don't happen to have their phone number or I don't have it handy. Uh, you can have this as an optional question. Uh, I'm actually going to now select it as a required question. So when they book an appointment with me, they, they'll also have this field where they have to book their phone number. If you want to uh, add additional questions, you can. Um, I think the more questions you have, the more of a, a pain it is for people, but I think the phone number is a, an important one to know. You can then have notifications here. So people will get uh, an email notifications, which is what is recommended here. They'll get a uh, confirmation. Uh, they'll get, uh, they can, uh, you'll get cancellations, um, and then they'll get a reminder here. And you can turn the reminders on, and you can even personalize it uh, to, this is just the defaulted one, and the default is it reminds you 24 hours in advance of that appointment. So it'll remind the person that booked the appointment uh, 24 hours in advance that they've got an appointment with you. Um, if you have the paid version, you can have uh, additional reminders set up if you'd like. Uh, so there are also uh, availability options here, and you can add blackout dates if you're going on vacation if you want. Um, you can, uh, here's a minimum scheduling notice, so that means that if, uh, if it's 3 o'clock now, people are going to have to wait a half an hour before they can book an appointment, so they can't schedule something immediately. If you want a little bit more notification, you can say they can't schedule an appointment within an hour or two hours or whatever you want to. Um, I find a half an hour is plenty because I get email notifications uh, from Calendly letting me know that someone made an appointment with me. You can also create buffer zones before and after your events. So if you want to create a 5, 10, 15, whatever uh, buffer zone before and after events, you can do that. I've selected mine as zero. And so this is a, a completely free service. Uh, for the basic options, um, I found the basic options are plenty to meet my needs. And then I'm going to show you something that I've also done. Is So what I've done is I've taken this uh, shared link. And then if I go into my CRM here in uh, close, and it doesn't need to be in this CRM. It can be in any type of email signature. Um, so Close Pro has a, oh, where is it? Mail settings. And you can see in my signature that uh, you can have it as just a link that you can highlight. But what I've done is I've actually selected an image uh, and I've added an image to my, um, uh, to my signature. And then what I've done is I've embedded that link into that image. So if you see here, if you highlight this, there is an option right here, this chain link, which means hyperlink. When you select this, it will then, you can copy and paste that link to Calendly here, click add. And now if people click on this image, they'll uh, directly access your calendar. So what I've then done here is in some of the uh, email templates that uh, you can get from me if you decide to join close uh, let me know and uh, there's a discount that we offer for our group but uh, you can see here there's here's a template I created thank you for your interest and it says uh, you know we had an overwhelming response let's plan on talking over the next few days what are some time options that work for you and then I also wrote if you prefer you can access my calendar to schedule a brief call uh, by clicking the link in my signature so what it's instructing people to do is they can just click on here. They can then see my, uh, my availability. They can then click on the time slot that works for them. And uh, that appointment then will end up showing up in their calendar. It'll show up in my calendar. And we'll both get email confirmations as well as reminders. So this is something that will save you a lot of time. I hope you guys uh, utilize it. And uh, have a great day.